Hello everybody, welcome to Sane Game Studios. I'm Sane, I'm an amateur game developer. Today on Game Maker Tutorials, I'm going to be looking at fonts. So pretty specifically, I'm going to be talking about why you should use fonts, where you can get fonts, what you need to look for when you're looking for fonts, how to import your font into Game Maker, and then also how to use it in your project. I'm also going to be looking at how to add special characters, like accented letters and things like this for when it comes to using certain languages or localizations in your project. You, you know how to add those letters to your font within Game Maker. So to kick this off a little bit, let's talk about why you should be using fonts. Fonts have a couple reasons why they should be used and selected carefully for each project. One of the bigger ones is licensing. You need to make sure that the font you are using has commercial purposes if you plan to sell your game. You need to make sure that you are not using an asset like a font that you need to purchase or get rights to use, especially with a commercial project. And the best way to guarantee that you have that licensing is to handpick your font and then do a little bit of research into the licensing of that specific font before you go and use it. The next major reason to use a font is immersion. So everything that you put into your game is either going to add or subtract from the immersion of your game. And it is really important that you do everything you can to add to the immersion because everything that you add to your game is either going to contribute or subtract from the level of immersion in your game and the people playing your game are already sitting in front of their computer or just sitting there with their phone in their hands or sitting in front of their tv or you know playing on a nintendo switch or something they're already sitting there um, interacting with a piece of technology and that in of itself is immersion breaking enough so it matters a ton that everything that you're putting into your game is being very carefully curated to add to the immersion so that you can do everything that you can as a game developer to make that player feel like they are the character that you're putting them in the shoes of and that they are actually in your world you want your players to get lost in your game so immersion, for the most part, is just an amalgamation of all of the small details. These small details are going to add up and add up and add up and add up, and then they are going to, with a combined force, either contribute greatly to the immersion of your game, or they're going to detract significantly from the immersion of your game. And like I said, you want your players to feel immersed. You want them to feel invested in the world that you have put in front of them. So like if you're making a like a sci-fi game and you know, you're out in space and you have like robots and laser guns, maybe even lightsabers or whatever, you're going to be wanting to use a sci-fi font. You're not going to want to go into this sci-fi setting and be using a medieval font. Because the player playing it will look at the lettering in your game and they will stop and they will be like, what the hell? And that breaks immersion. And, and that is the sole biggest reason why you should be carefully selecting your fonts and making sure that they are going to fit within the scope of your game. Okay, so where can you get fonts? When it comes to where to get fonts, there are two sources that come to mind. And the first one is going to be the one that I always use, and that is defont.com. And there are a couple reasons why I always use defont.com, and that is because there are tons of fonts. If you choose a style of font, chances are there's going to be hundreds of pages with tens of options on each page that just gives you thousands of options for each style of font. And then also in that browsing window, there are filters where you can filter out and change your results, as well as licensing information available right there before you even click on the font to see what it has. And the next horse is Google Fonts. And, and Google Fonts isn't bad. Like I, I have nothing really terrible to say about Google Fonts. Um, I find that its biggest weaknesses is one, uh, selection. Actually, that's really the only weakness. They don't have that great of a selection. They have an incredible strength, though, and that strength is that all of their fonts are public domain. So you can use any font that you find on Google Fonts commercially or personally for your projects and not have to worry about licensing or accreditation or anything like that. You can just go ahead and use them. So that is great. For the purpose of this tutorial, though, I'm going to be looking at defont.com. So this is defont.com, and as you can see, there are lots of different styles. Um, this one, for example, I'm just in the cartoon. And as you can see, there are 
219 pages. And there are 25 fonts per page. I believe that's what that number means. So like I said, a ton of fonts. And then you can just like scroll through and find one that you like. And the thing I like most about Defont is right here, it says what the licensing is. So this one's free for personal use, which means that you can go ahead and use this font, but if you want to use it for a commercial purpose, like you're going to sell your game with this font in it, you're going to have to purchase the commercial license, which is uh, $25 or $100, depending on the scope of your company. Chances are, if you're watching my tutorials, it's going to be $25. So this, this font right here is super greatly, 100% free. So this one here, you can use it free for personal and commercial use. It does not say anywhere that um, accreditation is needed, but if you're going to use somebody else's assets, you should accredit them. So just to be like a decent person, when you finish your project and you're building up your, um, like your, your final credits, you should say like, you know, the font is super greatly by you know, this guy, Fissuras913. So the next important thing to look at when you're looking for fonts is when you scroll down here, it's going to have a character list. It's there. They're referred to as glyphs. At least here on Defont, they're referred to as glyphs. So here you have the entire alphabet in capitals, the entire alphabet in lowercase, letters, and basic symbols. And pretty much every font is going to have at least that. But you come down here, here we have all of our accented characters. And they have them in capitals and in lowercase. And if I go view all glyphs, just an entire list of all of the characters that are included in this font. And if you're going to be localizing your game to be anything besides just in English, it is going to be really important that you have accented font, accented letters, because the vast majority of languages besides English use accented letters. There's even a couple words in English that use them, like resume comes to mind. So this font, having all the characters that I need, being completely free for personal and commercial use, and Seems like a good font. I'm, I'm going to use this. For the, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use this font super greatly. So to do that, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to click this download button. I've actually already downloaded this font. But when you download it, it's going to be downloaded if you're on Windows into your downloads folder and it's going to be in a zip file. You then need to install that font onto your machine by unzipping the contents and then um, on Windows, uh, Windows 10 at least, you right click on the font file and then you go to install and that installs it. Once it is installed, it is ready to be imported into GameMaker. So in GameMaker, I can just go here to fonts, I can right click, I can create font. And I'm going to call this font FNT font and then here where it says select font it will give you a list of every font that you have installed on your system um, one thing I have noticed is sometimes when you install a new font onto your system if you have game maker open when you install it this list likely will not refresh to include it so if you're having that issue where you've downloaded and you've installed the font and it's not appearing on this list just save your project close game maker open it back up open up your project and that will refresh this list and that font that you downloaded will now be available on the list so there i have the font i've selected it i have named it as an asset called fnt font and this font is now in my project so for my project actually i didn't go over this i have one room it is 800 by 500 and i do not have viewports enabled Other than that, I just have one object. It's called O-Text. 
In the create event, I'm getting the center of the room, both on the X and Y axis. And then in the draw event, I am aligning my, my font. I'm aligning my text to be in the center so that it goes from the center point and it draws out in both directions. And then here I am drawing, oh look, letters on a screen. And then here I am drawing a bunch of accented characters just so that we can see those working in real time. So if I were to actually run this right now, you're going to see, oh look, letters on the screen, but you will not see these letters. And once I run it, I'll explain why. So as you can see, here it is, oh look, letters on a screen, but then the bottom uh, characters, all those accented letters, are not showing up. And the reason for that is because I am using the default font for Game Maker, and fonts usually have what's called a default character, and that is that empty square. I'm sure you've seen it before, especially if you were like back in the day when you had like an old flip phone and people had smartphones and they sent you emojis and they would just be an empty square, or if somebody with an iPhone is using iPhone only emojis and your phone's an Android and you just get that square you don't actually get to see what it is right because that's the default character and then with the default font for game maker does not have a default character so if it goes to draw a letter and the character does not exist in the font it just does not draw it whereas if we go into my font right here default character and then it's got that square. And then that square is even right here. And what this does is if a character does not exist in the font in Game Maker, then it's going to draw that square to say, hey, I don't have this letter. And this is, you know, me letting you know I don't have this letter. So you either need to get rid of this letter or you need to give me this letter. And I can show you exactly what that looks like. So if I were to go here, I'm going to go to the create event and I'm going to import my font into this object using a variable. And I'm going to use a global variable for that. I'm going to go global dot font. And it's going to equal FNT underscore font. And then I'm going to go to my draw event. I'm going to go to this empty line here and I'm going to go draw set font. Then we go global.font. And then if I run this now, you will see this drawn in the font and you will see empty squares where these letters should be because I have not added these letters to the font in GameMaker. These letters exist in the font, but GameMaker has not imported them. It has only imported letters, um, Special like, like symbols like the uh, exclamation mark and questions and the question mark and stuff and then like numbers. It hasn't imported any of these characters because we have not told Game Maker that we need it and Game Maker is not going to import it unless you tell it to because it would rather save space and not actually have those characters. So if I run this now, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Right, so here I have, oh look, letters on the screen, and then here I have the squares. One thing I don't like though is the fact that these letters are rather blurry. As you can see, as, I, as I'm drawing them with a X and Y scale of three, when I'm blowing up the size of the font, it is blurring the letters because it doesn't actually increase the definition. It's like if you draw a sprite and you were to just draw it massive, you're gonna start to see all of the pixels and it's just not going to look as good. So to fix that, I'm going to go back into font, and I'm just going to tick this box called Enable SDF. And then if I run it now, I still don't have these characters, but now the font looks smooth, it looks crisp, it looks clean, it looks like advertised on the website. So, 
I don't want these characters down here, these empty squares. I want to actually be drawing those accented letters. But like I said, Game Maker doesn't actually have those letters loaded into Game Maker with the font. So I need to actually tell Game Maker, hey, I need these letters. Let's load them in so you can use them. Okay, so I'm going to go right here to add new range. I'm going to click add. And here it's going to say font range. 0 to 0 because I'm not telling it the range that I want to add and if you look 32 to 127 is all of your basic symbols numbers and letters and then this and um, the default character is 96 47 as to what exactly that means I don't know I'm not an expert in fonts I just know how to do this and but if you do know what those let what those numbers mean and you do know how to add a range using those numbers you can feel free to go ahead and punch those numbers here and here but we can also add a font manually by putting the characters in this box here and that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to highlight these copy and paste and that's going to add all of those letters down here. And then I'm going to click this here, add range. Then as you can see, all of those letters have been added to the font. And it looks like it's going from 193 up to 253. So actually, if I were to go add new range and I were to go like 193 to 2.53 it's going to give me a whole lot more so anyways now that I've added those characters if I were to run this game now as you can see I am getting the letters on the screen and I am also getting the accented characters. And honestly, that's all I really wanted to show you guys today. It's not super hard to do. Um, to summarize, grab yourself a font, make sure you have the license to be able to use it, and if you need the special characters, that's how you add a range. It's fairly basic. But fonts are important, so I did want to touch on those. And if I'm going to touch on fonts, I'm also going to show you guys how to add fonts, bring them into your project, and stuff like that. So with that being said, that's all that I have. So I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would definitely appreciate a like. If you would like to see more Game Maker tutorials, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. If you have any questions about what I have done here today, please comment those down below. I will do my absolute best to help you and walk you through any issues that you are having. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also please comment those down below. I could always use tutorial ideas. Every single week I release a tutorial, and every single week I have no idea what that week's tutorial is going to be on. But like I said, I think that's all that I got for you today. So I'm just going to say please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys are having a good one. Peace out.